Hello, my name is Ahmed Al-Musallami. I am a visual illustrator. I use different mediums, but I like to call myself as a visual illustrator, just as a broader term that covers a lot of things that make sense in my mind. I received my bachelor's in fine arts, uh, majoring in illustration from School of Visual Arts in New York. With illustration, you have to learn the right ways to do things so you can color outside the line. And with fine arts, I feel like I'm coloring outside the line all the time and it just, it's, it's, uh, it's really exciting for me. I do believe that I had a pivotal moment when I went to Salama bint Hamdan Emerging Artist Fellowship. It was a moment where I saw uh, a piece, um, it's uh, Robert Rauschenberg, his piece Canyon, how it was a painting but a sculpture but a kind of a performative piece at the same time. From that moment, seeing that piece, I started getting a FOMO of possibilities. I have like a fear of missing out on an idea or a possibility. And with the Culture Foundation, I believe it's, I feel more confident about who I am as an artist and what I bring to the table and what I want to talk about. The materials that I'm currently exploring and I'm trying to um, expand on is uh, Legal, which is the headdress that um, someone from the Gulf would wear and Bedouins in Syria and Jordan and a lot of people would wear it all around the Arab world and it's a symbol of masculinity it's a symbol of identity and it's a symbol of um, um, social structure as well I would say it's I think it's the equivalent to a tie in the West the process started by me actually visiting uh, a golf factory in Sharjah. I wanted to see how it was made. And the moment that I understood wh how it is from the inside, I understood how to control the outcome of me dismantling it. So I would cut a sliver of the coal and just like unwrap it and just keep unwrapping it. And it would take me from an hour to two hours depending on the type of the coil. And, and, and then I got really good at it and it's just, it got sped up. I'm like down a hundred, like dismantled I was like, I, I see it everywhere. When I decided to call the collection Berzakh, um, I started thinking of like a body of water because uh, in English uh, it means that it's a, a, th a thin strip of land that separates a body of water and connects uh, two bodies of land but in Arabic it, it actually means that a, a body of water that goes through the sea but it's it's kind of separates the sea and then I started thinking if I cut the threads in the middle from the same pieces of agal that I have, they're going to mimic this feeling of water. Because I felt like there was a lot of heaviness in the conversation that I'm bringing up with my work, I want, like, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person that I don't, I don't want to make someone sad, I don't want to make someone upset, so I, I really like to implement my personality, which I always like to cut things with humor because then it gave me the freedom to be like, oh, anything can be a gal. Like, <laughs> so I decided to create this performance piece uh, of me um, dressed up and like, uh, I mimicked the photo of my uh, grandfather, Ahmed, uh, Yadi Ahmed, who I'm named after. I decided to mimic his photo, uh, which I thought very interesting because it, it represents the time that they came from and I w decided to mimic it, but uh, use different materials that um, 11 of them are not Egal, and the 12th one is an actual Egal that I painted. I love stories. I think we all do, especially a well-constructed story, and there is no better story than human existence. The way that I start is that I dismantle an idea it's, it's like 
when a kid uh, pulls apart a VCR and to see how things work and then put them back together. And usually it doesn't come back together the same. It's, it's like this new thing. And uh, th I think that's what I do, is that I break things apart, look at what I have, and then kind of make sense of it by creating a narrative that would fit um, the story that I want to tell.